This is not me. This is my mom, Kathy Bella Gruber. My favorite picture of her. She had a beautiful spirit and was always surrounded by people. Someone who worked in human resources all her adult life, helping others to resolve conflict. You may be wondering why I started off talking about my mom. I do not think I would be where I am today in seminary studying counseling without her. As some of you may know about me, I lost my mom to suicide seven years ago in 2006. After a several month long battle with schizophrenic like psychosis and depression, she took her own life at the age of 56. While many emotions raged through me, I did not blame her for her decision to leave this world. I saw with my own eyes how she was suffering. She even spoke about how she felt God had left her and she felt like she was living in hell. After a year or so of counseling, my older sister, Julie, who was in seminary at the time of my mom's passing, had a conversation with me about our respective counseling experiences. She had sought counseling with a licensed Christian counselor. She felt at liberty to speak of her faith and how it had been affected by my mom's death and how her faith was helping her cope. I did not feel this same liberty in my counseling experience. I thought to myself that if counseling could be like my sister's experience, where the whole person is treated, body, mind, soul, and spirit, then that is the kind of counseling I would want to do. I found MTSO right away on a web search of seminaries in Ohio about a year ago when I first felt that nudge from God. The Master of Arts in Counseling Ministries program was just what I had envisioned doing several years before after that conversation with my sister. So here I am. My interest lies, at least for the moment, in grief counseling and hospice ministry. So Charlotte Elliott and I were well matched. In life, my mom always encouraged my sister and I in many things, but music especially. My sister plays violin, and I play flute, bassoon, and I sing. Music has always been an important way for me to experience and feel close to God. After my mom's passing, I became interested in learning a new instrument in a way to honor my mom, an instrument with a sound both haunting and beautiful, the Native American flute. I had this flute made for me in the key of E by Laughing Crow. It holds symbolism for me within just the flute itself. It is made of bird's eye maple. My mom now has a bird's eye view of the happenings in my life. It is also a drone flute, meaning that one side plays a constant note while the other side plays the melody. The drone I imagine as the voice of my mom the wisdom that she shared with me during her life while I carry on with the melody of my life. The drone serves as a constant reminder of how her teachings harmonize and influence the continuing melody of my life. In dedication to the women that have come before me, both my mom and Charlotte Elliott, from, who, from whom I have also learned in the course of this project. I will play Charlotte Elliott's most noted hymn, Just As I Am Without One Plea, on my Native American drone flute. I will play first without the drone, so you can hear what that sounds like, and then add the drone on the second time through.
Thanks for listening.